Ferndale High School was originally built in the 1930s and has added buildings and extensions ever since. Even then, we were creative with cost saving. We're looking at a 1976, well, installed in 76 steam boiler that heats our gym and half of our high school area. You know, I remember a time last year where we, we had to email all our, all our kids saying, wear layers, the boiler's out. And it was out for about a week and a half while we made the part to fix the boiler. The Career and Technical Education Building, which was once the maintenance building, leaks and is inadequate for today's technology needs. Expansion of new innovative CTE programs to train future generations of workers is not possible in the old building. If we had state-of-the-art facilities, just think of more things that we would have and more that we can offer to the students. Real-world things. And it didn't take me long on the high school tour to realize that uh, renovation wasn't going to cut it. We're trying to give them a 21st century education in a classroom that's over 80 years old. Really challenging to do. So yes, we wrestled with the renovation piece. To me, it didn't make financial sense. It wasn't a good use of taxpayer dollars. Right now, our facility is costing us money and maintenance that we could be putting toward educational programs. Physically, I mean, it's obviously really old. I mean, it's all about, it's really all about the students and like giving them a good environment is what is gonna make them like want to learn and want to succeed. We really need to start preparing our kids for, for jobs over the next 50 years. And, and honestly, kids in kindergarten in the Ferndale School District, their jobs aren't even invented yet. And how can we, you know, we, we need to create classrooms and learning spaces that aren't your traditional you know, square box classroom with rows of tables and chairs. This November, you'll be asked to consider a bond measure that addresses four areas of need in our district. Learn more at weareferndale.org. And don't forget to vote by November 6th.